Hey Priscilla, Chris Reed here from Auto SEO. Thanks for reaching out. Uh, and so I put together this really quick video audit for you. It's a little bit off the cuff, but uh, so the first thing, um, looking at your website, it certainly looks very dated. Uh, I don't know when you uh, last had it refreshed, but it does look like it's from the 90s. So uh, I mean, even with this counter here, looks looks very old. I mean, at 2006, if that's when it was built, then uh, the design wasn't wasn't great then. So I certainly recommend that that is the first thing that you look at is getting a refresh of this uh, done. And uh, being 2018, I would highly recommend using one of the more modern C CMSs, uh, content management systems. WordPress is uh, my personal favorite, and it does power 25 to 30 percent of the internet now. So. Uh, the vast majority of websites feel feel the same as I do. So if we can jump over to Google and type in site colon and your domain name, this shows all of the pages you have indexed in Google from the most authoritative, what Google sees as the most important ones, down to the least. Uh, straight away, I can see that you've got a problem with your SSL certificate. You see here, this one has S HTTPS, so that means that this page is secure, your home page, but this one doesn't. So these pages are insecure, so they need to be fixed up where these ones are secure again. So you've got some uh, issues with your SSL that needs to be sorted out. Uh, nextly, these are, so these are called title tags and these are descriptions. So when, when people search and you come up in the search, these, these are what will be displayed in Google. And so it's a real waste having your, your name here, like Contra Costa County Historical Society, because if people are searching for your name, they already know who you are, and, they, and you're going to rank number one for your your name anyway. What you want to put in there is some keywords. You know, what is it the problem that you solve? That's what all of the pages should be. So, like straight away with all of these uh, URLs, from the URL you should be able to tell what that page is about. Then the title should really tell you some more about it and then the description should give you some more detail and so you should think about what are the keywords each page should be uh, assigned to and a keyword is the topic and you know what someone's searching to find you so you know there's quite a lot of things uh, to be done there I'm sure there's you know multiple multiple pages indexed in Google so yeah we could go through all of these but uh, I won't won't bore you with uh, technical drivel so another thing that we can look at is how your actual ranking. So this is your website, uh, you can see here, over the last year. And so about a year ago, you had around 1,000 visitors a month, 1,100, peaked in September at 1,200, and then have actually been on a downward trend ever since then, with the last month uh, looking really, really not very great. Um, so, uh, so I'd certainly look at what has been happening here, why you've been going down in the rankings. So if we look at this table here, this is the keywords that you rank for, and this is the position you are in Google, and this is how much search volume you have. So that's how many people are searching these keywords every every uh, month. And you can see that quite quickly it jumps off. You've got some some decent keywords here, like CCHS, which I guess is your uh, acronym. And you know, there's quite a lot of people searching for that, 1,300. But you're only in position seven, so you know even just uh, improving improving your site design, you'd you'd jump up for that, and that'd you know double your traffic a lot. And you can see here another one, Martinez Courthouse, sixteen hundred searches. You're number nine. So again, uh, refining that page, you can see that it's the essays essays courthouse .html page that. Uh, ranks for that keyword doing doing some optimization on that page will shoot you forward for that keyword you know double your traffic again if we go down further though so once we jump off past number 10 so there's 10 uh, search results in the front first page of, page of Google so everything else is uh, on page two and further and so very few people actually go to those so if we look at like uh, you know Contra Costa County zoning map you know, there's 170 people a month that search for that, but you're on you're on number 11, and no one goes to page two. So you know, this maps.html, if we we worked on that, on that just a little bit, it'd boost you forward, and you'd start getting that those searches there. Uh, 
you know, you can see that there's a lot of searches, and so you can keep going, and there's 13 pages here. So that's, this is just one page, there's 13 other pages of keywords that you rank for in the top 100, but you're not getting any traffic. So, uh, yeah, we could really, we could really do a, a lot, lot with that. Like, you, if we rank it by here, so a uh, re-alter the same list by what keywords are giving you the most traffic. So you can see that these these keywords, which are high search volume, they're giving you, like this one gives you 52% of your traffic, 27%, 40, 24, 23, and then it drops off really quickly. So like even this keyword here, Contra Costa County, 22,000 searches, you're number 24. So to move, move from number 24 up to page one is really not a lot of work. Uh, yeah, like, and you know, 22,000 compared to your current 1,000, I mean, you know, we get you on the front page, you're going to get 30% of that traffic, uh, which is, what's that, 2,000, about 6,000 searches a month. So, you know, just, just working on this one keyword would, you know, 600% increase your traffic. Anyway, so I hope that was a little bit interesting. I won't go on uh, and bore you in too much depth. Uh, you already know who I am, Chris Reed, uh, founder of Art or SEO, and we specialize in uh, getting people to, the people that are actively searching for exactly what you do, we help them find you and take action. So uh, yeah, if you'd like me to have a chat with your board uh, or yourself, uh, feel free to reach out and, we'll, and uh, we'll talk real soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.